the most epic mega projects of 2023. The global construction industry is rapidly expanding, propelled by larger and more ambitious projects. In 2023, companies from around the world are taking on unprecedented challenges to create structures, public works, and infrastructure to accommodate population growth and demands for modern amenities. From renovated airports in Europe to high-rise apartments in Asia, these are some of the most impressive large-scale projects to watch in 2023. Number 5. Egypt's New Capital Sprawled across a patch of desert four times the size of Washington, D.C., a showy new capital is rising in Egypt, imperial in scale and style, embodying the grandiose ambitions of President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi and his mantle as the country's unchallenged ruler. The new administrative capital just outside Cairo encompasses Africa's tallest building, a crystal pyramid, and a vast disc-shaped palace for Mr. El Sisi inspired by the symbols of an ancient Egyptian sun god. Six years in the making, at an estimated cost of $59 billion, it is the grandest in a slew of mega-projects being built by a president determined to reshape Egypt. Eight-lane highways swoop across the crumbling streets of Cairo, skirting ancient tombs and pyramids of Giza. Giant bridges, freshly built, span the Nile. A new summer capital gleams on the Mediterranean coast just outside the city of Al Alexandria. The projects, mostly constructed by the country's powerful military, make Mr. El Sisi the latest in a long line of Egyptian leaders, stretching back centuries, who have sought to mirror their authority in imposing structures that rise from the desert. But as Egypt limps through a dire economic downturn, its finances dangerously strained, increasingly long doubts are emerging about whether the country can afford Mr. El Sisi's grandiose dreams. In the past six years alone, the International Monetary Fund has given Egypt three loans totaling about $20 billion, even as American aid kept flowing in. Even so, the country is once again in trouble. Although the financing of the new projects remains opaque, they are funded in part by Chinese capital as well as high-interest bonds. That will be costly for Egypt to repay in coming years. Some Emirati developers are also working in the new capital. The whole world is curious to see what what will become of Egypt's new capital? Number 4. World's Biggest Soccer Stadium, China Gongzu Evergrande Stadium, also referred to as Lotus Flower Stadium, will be the new stadium of the Gongzu Evergrande team, located in the city of Gongzu in China. The stadium is being built to provide the club with a world-class football-specific home to replace Tianhe Stadium and is touted as the first step in a country-wide upgrade of football infrastructure. The Evergrande Group, one of China's China's largest property developers and owner of Gangzhou Evergrande has indicated they want to build up to five more comparable stadiums across China in the next few years. The stadium has distinct lotus flower design inspired by the endemic flower and Gangzhou's reputation as the flower city. With a capacity of 100,000 seats, it'll become the world's largest football-specific stadium just surpassing Camp Nou. Gangzhou Evergrande Stadium is being built in the south of Gangzhou next to Gangzhou South Railway Station. Construction started in April 2020 with expected completion around the end of 2023. It'll come at a cost of 12 billion won. Number 3. Tren Maya Railway Project Mexico The Tren Maya is a 1,554-kilometer railway project that will interconnect the major cities and tourist regions of the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. Also known as the Mayan Train Project, it will significantly improve transportation and economic growth in the country. The railway project, led by Mexico's National Fund for the Promotion of Tourism, will include seven separate sections. Construction works started in 2020 with the first section of the Inner City Railway Project, scheduled to commerce operations in December 2023. The project is expected to generate 4,500 direct and 7,500 indirect jobs. The Trend Maya project was launched by the Mexican government as a part of the National Development Plan for 2019 to 2024. It is a significant tourism and transportation infrastructure initiative dedicated to the southeast region of Mexico. The government announced the winning bid for the rolling stock and related equipment supply contract in May 2021. This project aims to significantly cut passenger and freight transportation costs in the region while supporting industrial development. The 1550 
154-kilometer Tren Maya railway line will pass through 29 stations in the five principal southeast states of Chipas, Tabasco, Campeche, Yucatan, and Quintana Roo. Mayan train is a priority project of the government for passenger and freight transportation, which is being developed in two phases. The first phase of the project, involving sections 1 to 4, will connect the stations from Palenque to Cancun, while the second phase, involving the remaining three sections, will cover the stations from Cancun to Escarciga. The sections of the first phase extend across a total length of 892 km kilometers, while the Phase 2 sections will be 662 kilometers long. The new Extropolis train from Alstom for the Tren Maya will build on the manufacturing capability of the company to produce an upgraded train model that will be competitive and reliable in the long term. The model has a sturdy design with a modular interior and a light body shell. The train with a maximum speed of 176 km an hour will also be incorporated with the components and expertise of the previous Bombier, notably the Flex Eco Lightweight Bogey. The project is expected to cost upward of 15 billion dollars. Number 2. The Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam Ethiopia The Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, formerly known as the Millennium Dam, is under construction in the Benishangul Gumez region of Ethiopia on the Blue Nile River located about 40 kilometers east of Sudan. The project is owned by Ethiopian Electric Power Corporation. Construction of the Grand Renaissance Dam started in April 2011 after the $4.7 billion engineering procurement and and construction contract was awarded to Salini Constructori. The project is expected to be completed by mid-2024. The people and government of Ethiopia are funding the project, which will only serve Ethiopia but Sudan and Egypt as well. The other two countries depend on the Nile River for their water, although 85% of the river flows in Ethiopia. The dam's construction is expected to create up to 12,000 jobs. Approximately 20,000 people will be resettled during the course of the project. The reservoir and dam will offer significant benefits to Ethiopia, Egypt, and Sudan. For a long time, Egypt was held the primary ownership of the water from the Nile River and prevented Ethiopia from constructing a dam. Egypt depends on the Nile for 90% of its water needs. A tripartite committee was formed in January 2012 to promote understanding and look into the benefits and impacts the project would have on the three countries, aimed primarily at generating power with an expected capacity of 6,000 NW, the main and saddle dams will also create reservoirs with an impounding capacity of 74 billion cubic meters. The dam will be capable of handling a flood of 19,370 cubic meters per second, will reduce alluvium in Sudan by 100 million cubic meters, and also facilitate irrigation of around 500,000 HA of new agricultural lands. It will also reduce approximately 40 kilometers of flooding in Sudan upon its completion. The regulated flow of water from the Renaissance Dam will improve agriculture and the impact of the evaporation of water from the dam will be minimal compared with other dams in Ethiopia, which will help in water conservation. Water evaporation from Aswan High Dam and other dams in Ethiopia equates to around 19 billion cubic meters. Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam will reduce the capacity of the Aswan High Dam, therefore saving about 6 billion cubic meters of water. The dam will also serve as a bridge with a few pedestrian bridges across the Blue Nile. And finally, number one, the Jeddah Tower, Saudi Arabia. In 2008, billionaire investor Prince Alawid bin Talal of Saudi Arabia announced his intention to build the world's tallest building, the first skyscraper to reach 3,281 feet, approximately 1,000 meters or more. The record-breaking tower was to be the crown jewel of a sprawling urban oasis called Jeddah Economic city, with aspirations to become the Dubai of Saudi Arabia. For comparison, One World Trade Center, the tallest building in the U.S., is 1,776 feet or 541 meters tall, roughly half its planned height. Nearly 15 years later, the ambitious project to construct the world's first kilometer-high building, known as the Jeddah Tower, remains in limbo. Stalled by Saudi political intrigue and COVID shutdowns, only a third of the tower has been built, but there are plans to restart construction. The website of the Jeddah Economic Company, created by Prince Awalid and the Saudi Bin Laden Group to develop the project, still launches with a splashy rendering of the sky-piercing Jeddah Tower 
and the words, it's happening. The current title holder for the tallest building in the world is the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. Measuring 2,717 feet, about 828 meters tall, the record-breaking building designed by American architect Adrian Smith achieved precisely what the creators of Dubai wanted it to do. When Saudi Prince Al-Walid first set his sights on the building, the world's first kilometer-high tower, the Burj Khalifa was still under construction. However, the intention from the start was to replicate the Dubai model in Saudi Arabia. Jeddah Economic City would be the glimmering, futuristic metropolis on the Red Sea featuring the world's new tallest building, the Jeddah Tower. Jeddah is located between the two holy cities of Mecca and Medina. The most buzzed-about feature of the Jeddah Tower is its open-air observation deck, the highest in the world at 2,187 feet, about 664 meters. The observation deck was initially designed as a helipad until the architects were informed that it would be too dangerous to land a helicopter at such heights with unpredictable desert winds. If built to its original specs, the Jeddah Tower will require 80,000 tons of steel and be serviced by 59 elevators, including five double-decker cars and 12 escalators. The bottom third will be reserved for office space, followed by a luxury hotel with the highest of the 167 floors intended as apartments. A massive penthouse apartment will occupy the crown. So there you have it. Which of these mega projects would you wish to visit once complete? Let us know in the comments section below. And that's it from us today. Until next time, thanks so much for watching.